All right, welcome to Cooking Conspiracy, as we do shogayaki, or really just some pan-fried uh, pork cutlets and ginger sauce. So, you got your pork, then you want to cut up onion, some ginger, um, a shot of mirin, two shots of soy sauce, two shots of sake, a little bit of all-purpose flour back there, a little bit of sugar, and a little bit of salt. And this is what we're going to be working with. And my loyal dogs answering the hate mail from the neighbor. More on that later. All right, here we go. Measuring cup, well, mixing bowl, whatever, doesn't matter. Two shots of soy sauce. Or, you know, a half a cup. Half a cup of sake or two cup or two shots are about the same. In goes your mirin. About two tablespoons of sugar. Oh, hold on a second. It'll dissolve, it's alright. And got some ginger here. Finally slice your onion, unlike my neighbor, who definitely is not fine. Ne una stranza. Lo so, questo è vero. And I know, she probably buys her shogayaki at the convenience store. Now you're just gonna very lightly dredge your pork and some flour, shake off the excess. Preheat your pan, and you should know it's ready to go when you can drop a little bit of water and it beads up. Now you're going to use a neutral oil, I use peanut oil here. You can use vegetable can oil, doesn't matter, just as long as it's neutral. These are super thin, so they won't take long. Maybe 30 seconds, a minute on each side. You don't even need to flip them. Don't worry about cooking them all the way through because they'll finish in the sauce. Like sauce, like my neighbor's probably on the sauce. I'm pretty confident about that. I would probably be overly sensitive to barking dogs if I was hung over all the time too. You know, maybe we should get her to a 12 step. That would also explain why she always has to have her window open for fresh air. Anyways, a little bit of oil um, before you add your onions back in. And you're gonna stir those around, cook them five, six minutes with immediate heat, add a little bit of salt, and really you're just trying to brown them up a little bit. All right, once your onions have some color on them, you're gonna push them off to the side, and you'll add your pork back in. And then you'll cover the pork with the onions, and then add your sauce, which will then reduce your desired thickness. And here at Cooking Conspiracy, we like thick. Now, as your sake and as your mirin boil on, well, the neighbor doesn't have that issue because she probably drank it before she put in the sauce. Uh, we'll get start once it starts to get sticky. That's when you're talking, you know. And sticky in this situation has very positive connotations. Although, you want to make sure the sticky goes in the right spot. So I like serving it with rice, we put it out with a little bit of carrot, and then garnish with a little bit of green onion. Yeah, plating's not my thing, but you know, that picture looks good. Oh, give me some love, subscribe, show the channel to hear more tales about my neighbor.